Hello YouTube. Today we're here for another honest review. Today's review is going to be the Glen Morangy 14 year port cask Quinta Ruban Scotch. It is a scotch I have obviously been tasting for a while. Um, opened it up about three weeks ago and I've loved it, but today we're going to share it with you. On the nose, you smell some sweetness, dark fruit, a little bit of toffee, a hint of dark chocolate maybe. I'm not a professional sommelier, I'm just a, a dude who likes to drink, but it smells fantastic. It has a nice long palate. Right up front you get a lot of dried fruits, maybe uh, like figs or plums, dark sugar, maybe uh, like a toffee or, or brown sugar sort of taste, and uh, I definitely get some dark chocolate on the finish. That's wonderful. Um, if you guys are interested in this whiskey, I'd also recommend you take a look at the Scotch for Dummies channel. Uh, they have a review of this up that I think hits a lot of good points. Uh, the reason I'm mentioning it is that they talk about the palate of this whiskey having a crescendo sort of effect. You taste it and you hold it on your tongue and over time it builds and builds with new layers of flavor. And I have to say that I agree with it. Um, it is not as uh, strong as some whiskeys you have because it's, it's bottled at about 46%, which while strong for a, a scotch like this, you know, maybe isn't as much as, say, a cast-strength bourbon or something like that, but you definitely get quite a bit of flavor. They did not skimp on, on the palate here. Uh, to be fair to people who like their scotch with a little bit of water, I am going to put a drop of water on here. I don't think it's necessary with this scotch to put water on. It tastes fantastic without, but... We're going to give it a try. A little bit creamier on the nose after adding the water. You taste more sweetness up front with the water added. The dried fruits are a little bit, a little bit muted with the water on there. I prefer this without, I'd say. But it still tastes pretty good. A little bit more about the whiskey. Uh, you can find this for around fifty to sixty dollars. At that price, I think it's well worth it. Um, last week, I finished up a bottle of Glen Morangy eighteen year, which retails for about one twenty, and I think this could stand toe to toe with that bottle, despite being half the price. In fact, if they were the same price, I would still choose this one because the the port finish just gives it. Uh, a lot more depth. You get all those dark fruits that um, you just don't get with uh, the Glen Warren G18 or even something like a Glen Warren G10. Uh, we're going to give this another nose and another taste. It does feel a little bit, a little bit earthy uh, this time around. Not sure why. Uh, doesn't hurt it. It smells fantastic. Still tastes fantastic. Got one last sip to go. And that's all we've got for today. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Go ahead and leave a comment. And have a good rest of your day. Take care.